Now, cities across the Bay Area are on high alert and ready for this storm. Today in Pasco County, emergency managers warned people to be prepared for up to 10 inches of rain along the coast. The county has been drawing down lakes and ponds and flood prone areas for the last four days in anticipation of this storm. And in Tampa, folks, there are also getting ready to batten down the hatches, so to speak. Yeah, all this has Governor Rick Scott and Mayor Bob Buckhorn tell us to be ready for just about anything. Paul Mueller continues our team coverage tonight. He's on Bayshore Boulevard in Tampa, one of the places pretty much, Paul, that always floods mm -hmm. during a storm. Indeed it does, and with all Tampa Bay right here, Bayshore Boulevard, as you said, it's synonymous for flooding, even when it's not storming outside. But things are going to get a whole lot dicey throughout Tampa with all that rain we're expected to get. Um, it's my first big storm, yeah. We don't usually have warnings like this. As a University of Tampa senior, Celine Sanfeliz took a break from moving into her dorm room to stock up on groceries. If I have to... I can go out in the rain, but I'd like to have food with me so that if I don't want to leave my room, then I'm comfortable. Also late Tuesday, Governor Rick Scott meeting with top local as well as emergency management officials. We'll prepare for the worst and hope for the best. On a conference call, strategizing with emergency centers throughout the state, then taking questions. Honestly, how prepared is the state for this incoming storm? Oh, the state's very, the state's prepared. You look at everybody here, they're experienced. They, they know what to do, but... You have to do your part. Mayor Buckhorn remembering last year's record rainfall. People driving into standing water only to be left high and dry. In this community, we know where the low-lying areas are. We know where the area are, areas are that hold water. Uh, in the city of Tampa, we have barricades pre-positioned already in the event that we need to deploy those barricades. Nick Edwards lives in South Tampa. Are you ready, are you ready for that? all that rain? As ready as I can be. Now, whether I can get to work or not, that's another story. Yeah. Meantime, as San Feliz moves in, her mother needs to fly back home. I'm trying to head back tomorrow, but I'm thinking I'm going to get stuck in the storm. At least she has her daughter to keep her company. Better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry. All right, late tonight, I'm told that the Hillsborough Emergency Operations Center will activate on Thursday, but that is subject to change, of course, if that storm decides to make any changes of its own. Jen. Paul Mueller live in Tampa for us tonight. Thank you, Paul. And to make sure your home is protected before the storm hits and to find out what you can do to stay safe during any storm, check out our Hurricane Ready Guide on WFLA.com.